Okay, so on my truth-seeking journey um, and realisations that I've had, I've often looked up or tried to establish the meaning um, of different ideas, different words, uh, different concepts. To begin with, yom, which we refer to in Arabic as day, it's like, to my interpretation, to my understanding, which is very unique, is that it doesn't mean 24 hours. Yom, to me, means time period. Okay, so when we talk about the day of resurrection, it's not 24 hours. So 20, 24 hours is a metric given, um, which is not Islamic, Islamically referred to as meaning yom, okay, in my opinion. Like I said, yom means time period, okay? If we move on to month, people take the Arabic word as shahr as meaning month, as meaning 30 days or 31 days or 28 days. To me, shahr does not mean month. To me, shahr means realization. So when we're talking about shahr Ramadan, to me, it means the realization of burning or scorching heat because the word Ramadan means burning. Okay. Sena, for example, doesn't mean 365 days. You know, we know that it's mentioned that um, Sayyidina Nuh. Uh, so Noah salatu wassalam, lived, uh, sorry, preached for 950 years well if, if Sena was to mean years it would mean 950 years so Sena can't mean years it can't mean 365 days that's what I mean the whole metrics of time has been confused um, with the time units given uh, or, or, you know that, that we've been taught growing up in today's generation but um, these are just some of the realizations that I've had. I won't go on too long.